what's up everybody it's VR gamer dude here and today man I am super pumped we are finally gonna get to play Zing the land beyond now this thing has been in development it seems as if forever like three years I think it's since they finished the Kickstarter for this and man I have been looking forward to it ever since the first time they pitched it, and I can't wait to jump in and take you guys with me. So let's stop talking about it and let's just get in there and check out the gameplay of Zing The Land Beyond. All right, here we are in game, and man, I, I gotta tell you, ju just hanging out here in the menu. This is just chill and relaxing. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. So, all right, let's go ahead and start a new game here. And uh, first thing we got to do is choose our spirit animal. So, got a lot to choose from here. We got, you know, uh, let's see here. Here's House Lannister. Um, here's, no, no, I'm just kidding. All right, so I think we'll go with the bear. Whoa, we've gone to war. Nice. I went into the light. Okay, so to move, point the left controller towards the desired destination and hold to reorient, port the right controller in the desired direction and press. So, all right. I got that. So, it, it's interesting. This has kind of a strange movement system. So, you don't move with the sticks on the touch controllers. You actually pull the left trigger and that, that walks you in a direction. Um, and then it looks like I was trying to turn off the snap rotation and I accidentally turned off the rotation, period. But that doesn't matter because, you know, I can rotate with my real body. It's VR. So, all right. But, of course, I went and turned it back on, you know, because you got to be able to rotate sometimes. So, okay, the other thing that's interesting about this is this actually has jumping. So, um, first person jumping. Be wary if you have motion sickness. Zenith. Well, hello, Zenith. God, this is gorgeous. I mean, the graphics in this are stunning. Oh, there's my bear. So that's the grip buttons, and a lot of bears. Uh, was that what I was actually supposed to do? Oops, I thought I was just scraping around and threw that in the pool. So, alright. So it does take some getting used to this having to move with, you know, pulling the trigger. I, I kind of wish they would gone with the uh, traditional stick movement on this, but you know, it, uh, it's what it is. At least it's smooth. So what am I supposed to do here? <laughs> Whoa. Hello again, old friend. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I am your guardian and the only truly living thing in this something, because I couldn't read that fast. Uh, you exist now on a higher plane, a zenith of worlds. But worry not, in death you have much still to do, and I shall be there to help guide you through the scattered pools rooted in the ground. Go forth on flowing tides towards Itzali Point, an idyllic oasis amongst treacherous oceans, and discover what it means to be alone again. Um, oh, okay, man. 
That <laughs> was cool. Okay, so, you know, and, and at its heart, this is an exploration puzzle game. I mean, you know, there's just all sorts of stuff to discover and read and listen to and learn. And I not realize what's most important to us. something to be feared. That's some deep stuff. Whoa. Nice. Um, press it. Full painting. Whoa! Oh, wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's cool. Go in the dark, scary hole in the wall. Sure. Let's do that. What? Whoa. Hey, now. Oh, where's my exit? Uh oh. The exit. I've lost it. Whoa. <laughs> That's cool. This is some Matrix stuff. Whoa. Now I've been teleported. Oh, and there's a Stargate. Awesome. Rig up a NACWA generator and get our asses home. We were a small nomadic tribe. On these islands, we learned to thrive. We lived in harmony with the land, a people of the sea and sand. Awesome. So, we've got a little story building here. Very cool. Whoa. Almost felt like that brushed me in my face. Scouting atop the waves one day, a looming storm swept us astray. We screamed and gasped to stay alive, but in the end, only I survived. Oh, bummer, girl. Uh, thank you. Okay, so have we finally found a puzzle? Um, okay, so that's not much of a puzzle. But whoa, particles! I'm a sucker for particle effects and treasure. Alright. Man, the wind blowing through those trees is like insane. That is so cool. Great, great effect. Uh huh. Oh, interesting. And it even shows me where to put it. So, all right. So definitely, so far, if you're looking for challenging puzzle aspects, uh, not seeing that in Zing. But man, the cinematic, cool, environment, trippy scale is off the charts. Kind of got a mist vibe. For I mean, days this is I really tried to cool. leave this place. On planks of wood I tightly laced. But every time, as if on cue, a terrifying storm would brew, and darkened skies began to crack as the restless tides drew me back. I'm loving the story element here. And the music. I know, I'm just going on and on and on, blah, 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 blah. But this, this guys, this is what I love. This, this is the kind of VR that, that just makes me fall in love with VR all over again. So, it's just insane. They do their best thinking at night. Well, I certainly do. right through that. Um, it's 
Stone reading lady, are you gonna read me the stone? Are you gonna make me do it? Not long after my crash at sea, a sickness crept up over me. A pain which I had never known. The thought that I would die alone. How horribly morbid. Oh, you want a pineapple. Pineapples around here? Can I walk across this? Yes. What you got for me? There is no courage without fear. Sounds Klingon. Find us a pineapple here. Those who explore are often rewarded. Well, I'm exploring. Do some rewarding. Just gorgeous. Okay. Ah, my pineapple. Golden fruit grows nearby. I'll take two, thank you. Now, I also kind of wish that it had a run. I, it's just me. I'm, I'm kind of like, I don't know, like that. I, I just like to run through places. Hanging alone in the sky, a fate shared by the moon and I, a circle round and glowing bright amidst the stars, my guiding light. moon thingy um, okay so yeah as I said earlier definitely not finding any challenge in the puzzles here um, if that's what these are but the love and the particle effects when I saw them um, so oh, what do we got here I'm gonna warp no oh cool I just changed it from day to night that's awesome. What can I do out here now? Ah, oh, I get it now. The moon and the sun. I don't think I can make that jump. This is going to be weird. Ah! Okay. So that is like both weird and cool at the same time. Yes. So, wow. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting on the jumping. 
So, you know, I think that, yeah, that, that kind of brings us to a wrap up point, man. This is just a beautiful vista to go out on here. We got the chill music, it's night, got the, the ocean breeze going. So, you know, I gotta say, Zing Land Beyond, I cannot wait to play more of this. Um, and God, this is just gorgeous. If you have a Rift or a Vive or any headset that's capable of playing this, I think it might even be out on PSVR. You have got to check this out. If you, if you just love trippy, cool walking simulators, you know. But anyway, for me, that's gonna do it, guys. This is VR Gamer Dude. Signing off, y'all.